something's wrong. Like rot within the hive. There is taint spreading through the unity. So, you've arrived at last. Cypher, I know that voice. I expected too little of you. You served me well on Hutter and on Dromund Kaas. I should have known you would serve me again. Are you responsible for this? Everything that has transpired has been at my command. My will is the destiny of lesser men. Once before, you were inoculated by the dark side. I will speak now as I spoke then. Accept the gift of your life, Agent, and we will discuss Terror, the Empire, and the Sith. You talk. I'll listen. Be careful, Cypher. Please be careful. I'm trying to analyze the situation, but it'll take time, and if he has the command codes... It was my desire that the Eagle unite the Terror Cells. It was my desire that my flagship be destroyed. I required a weapon that the Dark Council would overlook. The terrorists became my unknowing servants and carried out my plan. What does the Dark Council have to do with this? Everything. A member of the Council is forced to politic, to struggle against his rivals. The waste is unimaginable. With my false death, I escaped the eyes of the Dark Council and of Imperial Intelligence. After the Dominator, I came here, bringing with me those passengers worthy of elevation. I maneuvered my pieces into place. I'm not one of your game pieces, Lord Jadis. You were once, until I allowed you independence. Keep him talking. Damn it. We can't fight him on our own. His power is second to the Emperor's. I accomplished two things during my absence. First was the diminution of the Dark Council. Upon my death, my former enemies began warring amongst themselves, vying to claim my resources. Darth Jorid's arrival escalated the chaos. My daughter is doomed, but she is an adequate distraction. I can't call for reinforcements so long as that jamming field is active. But he'll annihilate anything less than an army. You said your death accomplished two things. One was weakening the Council. What was the other? Throwing the Sith into disorder was only the start. The rest of the Empire had to be prepared as well. That was the Eagle's purpose, to sow fright and hatred. All this while, my eradicators were growing. Now they are ready, and my victory is close at hand. What victory? What are you talking about? The Eradicators will destroy the strongholds and apprentices of my enemies on the Council. So too will the Eradicators terrorize the Empire. Then I will return to the Council and lead the Empire into a new age, an epoch of terror. The Emperor won't let you get that far. The Emperor is... distracted. I could re-sculpt the Dark Temple into a monument to my glory, and he would fail to object. Perhaps I shall do exactly that. I see where this is going. He needs the Eradicators to make this work, but you have half the command codes. Under my rule, all people will revel in fear and anger and degradation. These prizes will no longer be hoarded by Sith. But without both halves of the Eradicator codes, my weapons cannot be targeted they will merely cause chaos. Mere chaos isn't enough for you, is it? No. The Eagle's death, your acquisition of his codes, has forced me to adapt. Without orders, the Eradicators will fire blindly. This serves neither of us. Enter your codes into the ship so the Eradicators can target my enemies. You will be rewarded. You will be my herald. Last time you promised me something, you faked your own death. I misunderstood your role. Consider what I can offer now. Power, wealth, a place in my vision. When I rule the Dark Council, Imperial Intelligence will have a mandate uncompromised by Sith politics. Imagine a world where you could act with true authority and fear controls the populace. Together, we can create a stronger empire. I need some time. It's a lot to take in. Very well, but understand this. If you refuse, you will die at my hand. The Eradicators will still reap untold destruction. Your sacrifice would mean nothing. I can be merciful. 
Take the time to consider your choice. Then we can begin the true work. We'll see about that. All right, stay focused and don't look at Jadis. How are you holding up? Can we put together a plan? I know what I'm going to do. It wasn't a hard choice. Before you make any decisions, please, hear me out. We need to re-examine our priorities. We came here to stop the Eradicators, but we weren't prepared for reality. Our plan now has to focus on neutralizing Darth Jadis. Everything else is peripheral. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Cypher. The numbers aren't in our favor. You can deactivate the Eradicators right now. Just combine the codes in the bridge computers. But to keep Jadis from reactivating them, you'd have to blow up the ship's reactor. It's a suicide run, and chances are, Jadis will escape. You have another suggestion? We trick Jadis. We give him the codes and let him launch his attack. Once the Eradicators start their bombardment, you slip off the bridge and take the ship apart. You sabotage the jamming field, hyperdrive, and shields. Then I can call in reinforcements. The military, the Dark Council, forcing Jadis to surrender. The Eradicators are deactivated as soon as feasible. Is it really better than blowing up the ship? It's cleaner, more precise, more thorough. Let's be clear. If we give Jadis the command codes, then yes, he'll murder thousands before we stop him. But the human cost is acceptable. The only alternative is to let Jadis escape and do worse down the line. You're assuming I want to stop his plan. But maybe I agree. You're not serious. Whatever he has planned for the Empire, it can't be beneficial. I could explain it all to you. But you'd never understand. Cypher, please, I'm begging you to reconsider. If you disable the Eradicators here and now, I'll help you. We'll destroy this ship, save a lot of people, in the short term. But my advice is this. Use the codes to let Jadis launch his attack. Sacrifice lives and seize this chance. We can end his threat forever. A wise decision, Agent. Our new age begins. Across the Empire, the Eradicators will burn cities and destroy the prizes of my enemies. You can still reconsider, Cypher. You don't have to ally with Jadis. He trusts you. Get off the bridge so we can sabotage the ship. We can make this plan work. Watcher 2 is in the hangar. She should be dealt with. I see. I applaud you for your loyalty to me. You'll regret this, Agent, I swear. My guardians will take her alive if possible. She may prove useful. But affairs are moving quickly, and we must ensure no other surprises await us. The New Age will arrive on schedule. I promise. Yes, you understand. The Eradicator's Purge will ready the Empire for my coming. But there is one death you must see to personally. Go to Dromund Kars and kill Darth Jorid. Her seat on the Council belongs to me. I hear and obey, my lord. When Jorid's blood cools, contact me from her chambers. Then I will return home. You! What have you done? Whole cities are being torched by the Eagle's weapons. The Dark Council is in a rage. You were supposed to stop the attack. Listen to me, Jorid. Your father is alive. My father? You're lying. Darth Jadis is dead. He died because of the Eagle and the Dark Council and everyone. Jadis ordered me to kill you. He wouldn't do that to me. He would kill me himself. You lie. After all the times I spared you. But there'll be no mercy now. Got a little present for you. <laughs> <laughs> Speak. Is Darth Jorid dead? She is, my lord. Good. With Jorid gone, I may return. The Eradicators will continue their bombardment, and the Dark Council will kneel. In the years to come, the Empire will be remade in my image, 
and Imperial intelligence will bring our enemies under control. As you say, Lord Jadis. You have proven your loyalty and your strength, and I name you my hand, my personal agent in this new age. As the hand of Jadis, you will continue to serve intelligence, but you serve me before all others, as will all creatures in time. Your trust will not be misplaced. Await my coming and spread word of the changing order. Spread word of a new beginning for the Empire.